Welcome back to math today on Tuesday. Today we have our next number that we are going to identify, count, and write. So let's get started with our learning target so that our brains know what we should be learning and what we are expected to know by the end of this lesson. Remember to listen first and then repeat. Here we go. I can, I can identify, identify, count, count, and write, write, the number two, the number two, very good. And I realized yesterday as we're doing this now that we didn't repeat our learning target that was in our read aloud, but you guys are gonna be a rock stars at knowing your learning target and being able to tell what you are supposed to be learning and know. Excellent, today in your packet, you're going to flip to the number two poster. We are going to learn a new number rhyme and we are also going to count and write this number. So go ahead and pause the video if you do not already have this page in front of you and grab it now. Okie dokie artichokies, here we go. We're gonna do our number rhyme for the number two. So let's sky write it together. When we sky write, that means that we use our finger high in the sky to practice writing it and then we will use our pencils to do it on our paper. Okay, so shoot your pointer finger high in the sky and say, let's do this. Do this. All right, here we go. Ready? We're gonna say first a candy cane, then a shoe. That's the way to make a two. Let's do it again. Ready? First a candy cane, then a shoe. That's the way to make a two. Very good. Okay, so now let's grab our pencil. Remember, I'm gonna use markers so that you can see it better, but we wanna use pencil when we're doing our math just in case we make a mistake and have to erase. So we're gonna start at the very top when we write our two, and we make our candy cane first, just like our candy cane shape at Christmas time. Mm -mm, that candy's good. And then we put a shoe on it at the very end. So let's write that number and say our rhyme. First a candy cane, then a shoe. That's the way to make a two. Excellent job. You can go ahead now and trade out your pencil for a crayon. If you need to pause the video to go grab that material, excuse me, go ahead and do that now. If you're ready, we are going to go ahead and color two circles. Remember, no scribble scrabble. We want to frame it and choose coloring up and down or side to side. I did up and down yesterday, so I'll show you side to side today. So I frame it first, which that means I draw a picture or a circle around it. And then I color inside of it, and I'm just going side to side. And how many did we just color? Just one, but we need to color two. So I'm gonna do the next one. I'm gonna frame it first, and then pick a direction to color, either side to side or straight up and down with my crayon. If you need a little more time to do that, go ahead and pause the video and do that now. Next up, friends, we're gonna work on our palm tree page. Remember, this is the page that you're gonna post to your Google Classroom. There are no other math pages that you're gonna post up there today, except for this palm tree number two. At the very top, there's a spot for you to write your name. So go ahead and pause the video if you need to, to write your name in pencil. Remember to start with a capital letter in the rest lowercase. Then looking at our number, we have our number word, two. What does it start with? That's a T. Very good. Let's spell it out. We have T-W-O spells two. And looky here at our 10 frame. There are two dots inside of our 10 frame to show the number two. And look how they went from left to right, one right after the other. Down here, we have our three rows of writing our twos. Practicing each row is very important because the first one is when you trace your number. That means you write on top of the dots that they already have there. The second one, you write on your own, but they tell you where to start with the dot. And the last one, you write on your own without any dots, okay? So let's start with our pencil. We're gonna trace our number two over here, and then we are going to trace them across the row. 
So let's say our number rhyme, put your pencil at the top. Ready, here we go. First a candy cane, then a shoe. That's the way to make a two. You're gonna do that for all of the twos in that row. Go ahead and pause the video and do that now. All right, now we're gonna do the next row. The next row has our starter dot for us and no other dots. Let's trace our first number two and then write it with our starter dot, ready? First a candy cane, then a shoe. That's the way to make a two. This number is really tricky, so you're gonna wanna keep telling yourself over and over again that number rhyme. Let's go ahead and write it starting at our number dot. It tells you with the arrow which way to go with your candy cane. First a candy cane, then a shoe. That's the way to make a two. Do your very best to make your shoe a straight line. If you make it like this, it looks like an S, and we don't want S's or backwards S's for our number two. We want to make sure that we know, oh, that's a number two because it has a straight line at the bottom, okay? Go ahead and pause the video and do the rest in that row. All right, and then in our last row, we have our number two with no dots. Let's trace the first one and then write. Here we go. First a candy cane, then a shoe. That's the way to make a two. First a candy cane, then a shoe. That's the way to make a two. Go ahead and pause the video and finish the rest in this row. Great job, friends. Remember to save this paper to take a picture to upload it to your Google Classroom. We're gonna move on to our next page. These are our fun little number two pages. And on the first one, we're gonna start with our pencil. With our pencil, we're gonna trace our big two. First a candy cane, then a shoe. That's the way to make a two. Whoops, wrong one. Then we're gonna write out the word two with our letters. We have T, W, O. And you wanna try the best you can to keep your pencil on those dots like theirs. Then we're gonna color two of each shape, okay? I'm just gonna do the circles with you and then you can pause the video and do the rest. With your coloring, you may use a crayon. One, two. If you need more time for the circles, definitely pause the video to color those two in and also pause it to color two of your triangles. Remember to frame and color and no scribble. Good, at the very bottom, lastly, you're going to pause the video if you need extra time to trace with your pencil and say your number rhyme two. Start, or first a candy cane, then a shoe. That's the way to make a two. On our next page, we have our number two fun identifying games. And on this page, you may use a crayon for everything but the tracing at the bottom. And look at that. I'm gonna to get to that part in just a moment. Don't let it trick you. All right, so with your crayon, you're gonna start by circling the twos. Remember how we talked about they can look different if they're typed or written? So circle those twos. Then over here, you're gonna trace your two. First the candy cane, then a shoe with your crayon. And also after you trace it, you may color in that same direction. So when you're coloring it in, you wanna color it the way that you would be writing it, just so that your brain remembers the right way to do it. Then, does anybody remember what this guy's called? If you said 10 frame, you are correct. Give yourself a kiss on the brain. Excellent job. In your first two boxes, remember, we start at the top left and go from left to right and top to bottom. You're gonna color two boxes right there. One, and two, okay? If you need to pause the video and give yourself more time to do that, by all means, go ahead. The last part, don't let it trick you. Our worksheet is giving us more number writing practice from the number that we learned the day before, which is the number one. So when you do the, the numbers at the bottom, make sure to use pencil and you're going to start at the top and down you run. That's the way to make a one. You're gonna trace them all the way across. Again, these sheets in your poster, you do not need to post to Google Classroom. The only activity sheet to post to Google Classroom is your palm tree. 
worksheet. That's what I was looking for. Great job today, friends, with your math. You did a great job counting, identifying, and writing your number two. I'll see you tomorrow for the next number. What number comes after two? Three. So I'll see you then for that number.